Shoes can really make or break your outfit, and admittedly, I have a lot of shoes. But in this video, I wanted to share my summer sandal collection and talk about what I think are summer sandal essentials, because they all serve very different purposes. And that is how I justify to myself why I have so many. <laughs> Starting with a pair of flat tan sandals. I think there are so many different styles of this type of shoe that you'll be able to find a style that you really love and that really kind of goes with your wardrobe. I decided to go for this sort of knotted detail one. They are from W Concept and they are a new in piece. I have been so excited every time I wear these because I really just love the way they look. I think this shade of brown is just so rich and warm that it really adds that warmth to your outfits. And I also think it looks really good when you have a bit of a tan, when your skin is glowing and you wear this color on top, it just, they just go together so well. Over the years, I've become really picky about shoes. I used to buy really uncomfortable shoes, but now it's just all about comfort for me. I can't do the uncomfortable shoe thing anymore. Um, I'm too old for that now. And these are great because sometimes I feel like flat sandals can be a little bit uncomfortable, but these actually have a padded footbed. So they're really soft. And the leather also is like, it's not a stiff leather. It's really soft as well. So I've had no issues with these whatsoever. I wore them right from the get go and I didn't have any blisters or any like rubbing or anything. I also think that this type of sandal is really versatile. It's a piece that I would definitely take on holiday with me. You can dress them up for dinner. You can wear them out and about walking around all day. And it's just a very easy piece to style and I'm really happy to add these to my collection, which is why I wanted to talk about these first. I just don't think you can go wrong with a tan sandal. Next, of course, has to be a pair of black leather sandals. I don't think any wardrobe is complete without a pair of black sandals, but specifically a comfortable pair. Again, comfort is key when it comes to footwear. Of course, everyone's feet are different, so for me, comfortable is something that has a slightly cushioned footbed and kind of like a thicker strap to hold your feet in. If you are a fan of the row, then I have a sandal for you. These are a really good dupe of the Jerry sandals, I think they were called. I don't think you can get them anymore, but I think they were out last year and I loved them so much, but I can't afford the row, let's be honest. Most of us can't afford the row. And so these are such a good dupe. So like I said, a comfortable sandal for me is something with a bit of a thicker strap and um, something also that has like an ankle strap. For, I find that to be the most comfortable. I wish I could be a barely there type of sandal girl, but I know myself and maybe this is TMI, but whatever. I am a very sweaty person, especially during the summer, and I just can't do a belly there sandal for like daily wear. So these are so great. I've worn them on like 30 degree days. They hold your foot in really well, They're super comfortable, and I just think they look great as well. This type of sandal, it's pretty casual, I would say. It's not a piece I think you could dress up, but for me, my lifestyle is very casual. I don't go out too much. My life is just, you know, like normal daily life. And I wear a lot of trousers. I think these go great with trousers. And so it's a piece that suits my lifestyle. I think that they are a really practical shoe and also very stylish. Whilst I have you here, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you aren't already, because I upload videos like this every single week. So moving on to something a little bit less practical, but a little bit dressier, and that is a strappy sandal. This type of sandal is just the epitome of summer for me. <laughs> this is definitely not a daily wear shoe, um, but maybe like a date night or just an evening dinner shoe. These are about a seven centimeter heel. So for me, whilst they are like a strappy sandal, 
they are quite a comfortable heel height for me personally. Like I said, this is much more of a dressy piece. It's not one that I would be doing too much walking around in. So I do think it has a place in my wardrobe for those more dressy evenings. When it comes to strappy sandals, I do think the placement of the straps is really important. So it's got one going across the front, um, another one going across kind of diagonally across the foot and an ankle strap. And those three combined help make it a little bit more comfortable because they hold in your foot a bit more. Especially an ankle strap, for me, I found just from past experience that an ankle strap really, really helps to make a shoe more comfortable for me. I think that this sort of sandal can really match with a lot of pieces. And especially if you buy it in a neutral color, it can really just blend in with your wardrobe. And it's just a piece that you can wear with so many other items. I also think getting it in a neutral color helps to really kind of elongate your legs. And that is something I always look for. <laughs> Being five foot two, I'm always looking for those little tricks to make myself appear taller. And wearing a nude strappy sandal is kind of one of the ways that helps keep the line of your legs going and gives that illusion of longer legs. If that kind of strappy sandal is too much of a heel for you, then I think going for this kind of sandal, so like a mid block heel, is such a great option. This type of sandal is so comfortable. I actually recently got this pair as well. I got this last month in the Dear Francis sample sale and I've worn them so much since because they really are so comfortable. I think a shoe like this is really versatile. It's what I would call an in-between shoe because it's both smart but also casual. And what you wear with it can really dictate if it's smart or casual. So you could go super casual, wear this with jeans, and kind of dress up the jeans a little bit, but still be casual because you're wearing denim. Or you could wear this with like a very nice summer dress and the dress dresses up the shoes. And so you've got a bit more of a smarter outfit and it's just such a good versatile piece. This block heel is so comfortable. I think this is four or five centimeters, but you really don't feel that heel height at all because of the thick block. <laughs> thick block because of the thick heel. Your weight is quite evenly distributed throughout the shoe. And again, the straps hold your feet in so you're not sort of sliding around in there. And it's just a really great, comfortable shoe. This sandal really kind of filled in a gap in my wardrobe that I was missing for that kind of elevated summer sandal. Something that's not, you know, a, a really strappy heel like before but also not a flat heel, just something in between. And it's just, it's just perfect. <laughs> so if you don't like anything too high, something easy to walk in, I think going for something like this is perfect. So whilst we're on the topic of dressier shoes, I think that there is a place in your wardrobe for a slightly dressier flat sandal. I feel like these don't look great when I'm just holding them up like this, but on your foot, they look really good. I think this type of sandal is just great for when you want to wear something, you know, a bit nicer, but maybe you don't want to wear a heel. I got these from a brand called Lock. I've had them for a couple years now and I wanted them for so long before I finally took the plunge and I got them. I just love these kind of thick straps and I just think they just look so good on your foot. <laughs> I mean, I guess they do have this tiny bit of a heel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this a heel. This is still pretty flat to me. I think they add a certain elegance to an outfit because of the kind of skinny straps. I would say that they are definitely dressier than sort of like the tan flat sandals. So I think this one is definitely dressier than this one. There's just something a bit daintier and more elegant about this one. I think it's because of the straps. And again, you can wrap the straps around your ankle, um, but this still isn't a shoe that I could wear on a really hot, hot day. I would kind of reserve this sort of sandal for maybe um, an evening or just a day when I want to look a little bit more 
elevated maybe, but yeah, not a sort of daily walking around town type of shoe on a really hot day for me. <laughs> that was a really long sentence. But yeah, I think a flat but slightly elevated dressy sandal um, is a really good addition to have. So back to practical Adeline and the next category is what I would call a really comfy slide. And so I have my Birkenstocks and my Dear Francis tie slides. So these are the Birkenstock Arizona sandals in suede. These are the taupe color. Birkenstocks have been part of my wardrobe for maybe six years. I have the black leather pair, which I have had for many, many, many years. I've worn them so much. Um, and then I decided to get the suede pair because a lot of people say that the suede pair is more comfortable, which makes sense because the suede is really soft. And I can happily agree, they are more comfortable than the leather pair. And it's just such a classic sandal that you really, it's just like, you can't go wrong, really. It's definitely a very casual, relaxed sandal. It's not something you can dress up, but you know, I'm okay with that. Like, not everything needs to be super versatile. I think this just serves its purpose. It's so comfortable. You can wear them all day. You can wear them when it's really hot outside and they're just great. My other pair of comfy slides are the Dear Francis tie slides. I have talked about these a lot on my channel already, so I'm not gonna say too much other than the fact that these are probably my most comfortable sandals. They, I actually think these are more comfortable than Birkenstocks. They are 100% leather and the leather just molds to your foot. They kind of stretch over time. So it's just like becomes the perfect fit for your foot. Not gonna lie, they are quite expensive. They are a couple hundred pounds, I think three or 400 pounds, but I've honestly worn these so much. I've had these for three years now and they were my most worn sandals when I was living in Sydney. These were my kind of daily sandals really. Whilst they might be expensive, I've definitely gotten my cost per wear from them. And I do think if you're gonna spend a lot of money on something, then it might as well be something that is super comfortable and something that you're gonna wear daily. I think then that makes it worth it. This is a sandal that if I, lost my whole wardrobe or if these broke, I would probably repurchase these because not only are they so, so comfortable, but they're also really stylish and very, very chic. And I think that combination is so hard to find in summer sandals, something that's comfortable and that looks good. It's just so hard and so rare to find. So last but not least, this type of sandal is something that is a little bit more trend-led, but it's a trend that I really like. I find it suits my lifestyle and it suits my wardrobe. And that is a pair of chunky flip-flops. So these I've had for a good few years now. You definitely would have seen them if you've watched my previous like summer videos. These are the, I can't remember what they're called, but they're from, Tony Bianco. These are a really good dupe for another pair of the Row sandals, the Row Ginza sandals. And I wanted those summer sandals for so long. I would just like stare at them online, but they are 800 pounds, which let's be honest, I cannot afford. And so these are a really, really good dupe from Tony Bianco. I've had them, like I said, for a couple years. They're so comfortable. I just really like the way um, a chunky flip-flop looks with summer outfits. It really gives off that effortless vibe. And I was trying to figure out why that is. And I think it's because traditionally a flip-flop is kind of like a meh shoe, right? It's like an afterthought. You just kind of throw it on. But once you make it out of leather and you give it a proper sole, it's more deliberate. Kind of that unexpected twist. It elevates it and it's just, it's, it really is effortless. Another sort of chunky flip-flop that I have is another pair from Dear Francis. I also got these from the sample sale last month and I'm so happy with it because when they were on sale on the website, I missed out on them. I didn't buy them and I really regretted it. So to be able to get this for the sample sale price is 
the best. <laughs> it mixes my love of this rich tan shade and that kind of silhouette of the chunky flip-flop and I'm so happy with them. So that is my current summer sandal collection. I hope this video helped maybe give you some ideas or maybe see what's missing in your shoe wardrobe. If you like this video and you want to stick around, you should watch this video next. It is my top five summer essentials and how I style them. It will be linked on screen. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will catch you in the next one.